Hey everybody, this is Bob, KK4DIV with 73 Outdoors, and today I want to do an inside video here on how to use VARA HF as well as VARA Terminal to get onto a local bulletin board system. Did you know that VARA has a way of accessing a local bulletin board system with a simple terminal program designed and built to use with VARA? Well, if you didn't, stick around. I'll show you how it's done. the first thing you're going to want to go do is go to the EA5 HVK's website for weak signal software and I'm going to go ahead and start by apologizing this is my um, little Surface Go tablet I don't have any kind of video capture software on this so I'm just doing it with the GoPro but it's the website address is rosmodem.wordpress.com. I don't know if that's focusing on that or not, but it's rosmodem, Romeo Oscar Sierra modem.wordpress.com. That's going to take you to the EA5 HBK's website. You can just Google search VARA download, it'll take you here. So once you're to the website, um, I went down here to high performance HF modem. A lot of you may already have this on your computer. If you have it, if you don't, this is where you're going to want to go. Uh, you're going to want to get uh, VARA HF, uh, the, the setup program, and the one called VARA Terminal right there. And again, I apologize for not having any kind of video capture on here, but. Uh, yeah, this is my little portable laptop uh, tablet that I use out with radio a lot of times when I'm portable, so I don't have a lot of software on it. All right, so in our downloads directory here, we're going to have a couple of files. Uh, the first one is VARA HF setup. We're going to double click that. And this should be a zip file it is so what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and extract this I can find my extract button there we are extract all and extract sorry it's hard to see the screen and film this with a GoPro at the same time so I'm having to look around the GoPro all right so this is opened up into a new window. It is extracted. We're going to right click because it says run as administrator. So we're going to right click on this. I think, there we go. And we're going to hit run as administrator. And Windows is going to yell at you because it says, oh, this isn't, uh, this is an unrecognized app, blah, blah, blah. Well, uh, you got to be careful when you install software on your Windows machine, but, uh, I trust this, so I'm going to hit run anyway. Then it's going to say, are you sure you want to allow this app? Yes, I am. And this will install VARA on your computer. We're going to hit next. We're going to hit next. There we go. And we are going to accept the agreement. And we're going to hit next once again. And next once again. We are going to want to create a desktop icon. You can check that if you want. Some people don't like to clutter the desktop. I'm usually one of those people, but on this computer, it, I find it very handy to have the ham radio applications just right there on the desktop. On my desktop computer back in my office, I do have them in a separate folder, and that folder is located on the desktop, because so, I've got a lot of apps on that computer. So we're going to hit next, we're going to hit install, and it says VARA has installed successfully. We're not going to launch the program right now because I want to install that other piece of software. Okay, I got the camera mounted now. I'm not going to be able to get it as close to the screen, but it is sitting up on its little tripod now, so it might not be as shaky 
might not be as close to the screen either. It might be a little difficult to see. So I will just kind of verbally guide you through this. All right, so we've installed VARA HF. Now we're gonna to want to install VARA Terminal, which we have previously downloaded onto our computer. We'll double click that. This is also a zip file, so we're gonna to wanna to click Extract All, so we can extract it. Unzip it onto our Downloads directory. And there we go. And this one is also going to be run as administrator, so we're gonna hover over it. We're going to right click, go down to Run as Administrator, Again, beware doing this on your computer if you're not familiar with the program, blah, blah, blah. All right, run anyway. And we're gonna hit yes, and next, and next. We are going to create a desktop icon. We're going to hit next, and hit install. All right, we are gonna uncheck, uncheck, uncheck launch my program, we're going to hit finish. We're going to close all of this bull and we're gonna close the edge window. Oh, I thought I closed that, I guess I did. All right, I hate that, go away. What is this? Stop, I don't wanna learn about the picture. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I hate Windows 11 sometimes. All right, I need to get rid of that. It's kind of handy. Sometimes I like seeing what the, the background picture is all about, but sometimes it just gets in the way. All right, so we have VARA. That's our VARA terminal. And did we not get VARA installed on the desktop? Am I missing it? Well, I don't know. Okay, so apparently VARA did not install on the computer desktop, but VARA Terminal did. And you know it's VARA Terminal, it looks like a computer with a little terminal looking screen there with a prompt. Uh, I'm gonna read just, I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna call this VARA Terminal or VARA Term. That way I know easily that that's the terminal program. So when you open this up, it's automatically gonna start up VARA as well. So there we go, there's VARA running. You wanna make sure, and we're gonna be using this with the ICOM IC705. So we're gonna to want to make sure that our sound card is set up properly. So USB codec, USB codec, yep, that is correct. Uh, on both of those. Off okay. camera, I went ahead and put my registration key in there for VARA so I can get the highest speeds possible from the VARA modem. I did not put that on camera, but I did it. So let's see here. I think the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we can go to settings, go to terminal setup, uh, all that looks good. We've got the command port 8300, local host, uh, because that's what will communicate with the VARA. Uh, it's on VARA HF, that's my call sign, KK4DIV. And we don't need to update anything. We're gonna go to push to talk. Uh, this should be for an ICOM. I don't think there's the 7705 in here. I had to select 7300. Oh, nope, there's a 705. Okay. Uh, COM4. Sure. All right, close. All right. Okay. So now that you have all the software installed, you'll want to tune your radio to the correct frequency. In this case, my station monitors a few frequencies, one of which is 20 meters. It's 14.107.5 upper sideband. We're gonna to wanna to make sure we set our IC705 for upper sideband as well as digital. So we get the digital uh, in and out going. And going back to our computer, we're going to go to VARA terminal. All right. 
and once we have Vara terminal opened up, we're going to go to connect. And I've already put in my nodes call sign in there, KK4DIV-7. And we're gonna hit this connect button right there. And we'll see what happens. The radio is trying to connect. Okay, it took a couple of tries, but I had to turn the attenuation on in the 705 because the signal was just too strong uh, in the house here from the station that's just uh, <laughs> out in the yard. So, all right, so we've got a list of commands here. BBS, chat, RMS, sysop, connect. So we can do just our regular commands here. We're gonna type in nodes. So we should get a node list of all the stations, packet stations that uh, we could connect to from the KK4DIV-7 node. There we go, and we can see how quick that is. That's a lot quicker than, uh, than packet would be. So we had 600 uh, bits per second, very fast download rate. Let's type in BBS. So we should be bringing up the bulletin board system. There we are. And we can hit list last, list the last 10 messages on the system. So once this loads up, you can still see the radio doing its thing. And there it is, there's the last 10. So we have some interesting bulletins here. All these are bulletins. So if we wanted to read one, we would type R. And the bulletin number three one or the message number three one two five three, and we're gonna hit enter. And the radio is again doing its thing over Vara, and we should have that message coming through here in just a moment. Yep, so there it is. So just a message, a bulletin message out. So pretty cool stuff on here. We hit clear, we can clear the screen. Very cool stuff, very, very cool stuff on using Vara HF with VARA terminal to access a local bulletin board system and packet node. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to get VARA HF as well as VARA term, VARA terminal set up on your laptop, using it with a radio to check messages on your local bulletin board system, your packet node system. Now, not all packet nodes Bulletin boards are going to be set up to use VARA. A lot of them still use AX25 packet, uh, either 1200 baud on VHF or 300 baud on HF. Uh, mine does that as well. But VARA is a very capable alternative to that. You get much faster throughputs uh, on your uh, transfers, especially on HF. Uh, it just blows uh, HF 300 baud out of the water. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider sharing this video with others. It really helps my channel grow. And I know I've been away from the channel off and on over the past uh, couple years, really. I just haven't been putting the videos out. But uh, any kind of help y'all can give me with those thumbs up, likes, comment down below, all of that stuff helps the channel even though I'm not around as much as I once was. Anyway, thanks for watching. And from Bob, myself, KK4DIV and the channel 73 Outdoors, I hope to catch you in a future video. Bye-bye. That's, that's a dragon. Peace out.